Hey, my YouTube friends, welcome back. Some news for Neo. First, let's talk about the May delivery numbers of Neo Expo Liado in China. Then let's talk about the potential uh, Neo's UX expansion and the potential impact to the short term uh, stock price impact. And finally, let's talk about uh, China's car tax cut. And will that help Neo? Okay, so first, um, Neo said it delivered more than 7,000 vehicles in May. That, that was up 4.7% year over year. That's not really a very pretty number. And in a written statement, Neo said that its manufacturing capacity is gradually recovering from the, the city's lockdown, the COVID lockdown, of course. Uh, but its ability to de deliver vehicles was still constrained by some ongoing lockdowns. Um, no wonder that Neo is heavily impacted by the lockdowns in China, especially in Shanghai. And in May, there's zero cars sold in Shanghai because of the full lo lockdown and all the car vehicle dealers in, in Shanghai were closed. Um, that was really bad. And Neo added that it is working with the suppliers to boost the production and that it anticipates delivery rising during the summer months, the following months. And other Chinese uh, electric vehicle makers reported a stronger May delivers than Neo. Let's talk about Axpeng and Liaodou. So Axpeng said that it delivered 10,125 vehicles during the, this month, the May month. And that's a 78% increase from a year ago as it resumed the two shift production at its main manufacturing plant. Okay, so the number does not uh, look as bad for Xpeng uh, to Neo. It, it's more, the delivery is more than 10,000, but still, still you can see the number is hurdled. Um, it should have grown even more uh, in, in May if uh, the, the trajectory, the the projection of the growth of Expo did not ever like impacted by the, the city's lockdowns and the plant and the supply chain issues because of the Shanghai lockdown. Uh, but still, it's uh, st the number is stronger than Neil's. And Liaodou reported that it delivered 11,496 vehicles in May. That's up 160% from the same month in 2021. This is a strong number for Li Auto, which is good. Next, let's talk about uh, Neo's potential UX expansion. We know Neo has had a footprint in North California for, for years now, uh, but it's still an early stage for Neo to talk about the UX expansion. Neo is still investigating the US market, and also according to a report uh, out of China, the EV automaker Neo is hiring a number of positions related to manufacturing vehicles in the United States. So the recruitment uh, describes suggests that a new intends to begin planning and erecting EV production facilities in the US soil. Last December, um, there is a report that during the automaker's annual NEO day, uh, it shared ambitions to pro provide service in 25 countries in the, in the following of couple of years. Um, by 2025, it has the plan to, to provide service in 25 countries, and the, pre the presentation displayed a map on screen with several markets highlighted at potential entry points, including West Europe, Australia, and the United States. So we know Neo has the plan, and Neo is interested, but I think there is still lots of work, investigations, uh, marketing, manufacturing investigations to do to to really expand to the U.S. market, and I assume there's there's going to be lots of like regulation requirements. Um, anyways, a lot a lot of things ahead of the US, potential U.S. expansion, and I don't see so much short-term positive impact to new stock just because of the potential U.S. expansion. All right, then finally. This is a good news that China will cut the purchase tax on some uh, low emission passenger vehicles by half, according to a statement on the finance minister's web. As COVID, the COVID lockdowns and uh, the, the city shutdowns are crushing consumer confidence and the government pulls out all stops to spur economic growth. So basically the government want, want to, wants to stimulate uh, the, the consumers spending and vehicle spending is one of the the big the big parts of that and details of the sales tax cut built on previous announced measure to support business and consumer spend as economic activities is hammered by the china's worst uh, city lockdown since early 2020 the detail the detail is it'll cover cars with no more than nine seaters sold from june to december that are low emission and cost 300 
thousand yuan RMB or less. That's e equal to forty five thousand US dollars, according to the statement Tuesday. And in China's financial hub Shanghai, we talked about not a single car was sold last month, and uh, almost all the dealerships、uh, in the city were closed. Okay, that's the news. But I think Shanghai's situation is still unstable and unpredictable. We know even Shanghai government says they are easing the lockdown, but but cases will come back because the the virus is is there. If the lockdown is easing, it's just a a matter of time. And so far, I don't see a clear solution for or a clear message from the the Shanghai government. What will they do if the cases resurge? Will they lock down the city again, or are are they going to kind of coexist with the virus, just like most of the rest of the world is doing right now? That's something to look for, and definitely before a clear message that、um, Shanghai or even China is going to coexist with the virus. I don't, I don't think all those measures that are trying to st stem the economy is really going to work well.、Um, we'll need to see if the city would lock down, would be in lockdown again, or.、Um, There will be some dynamic zero policy change. Until then, I'm still not really very optimistic about the car sales and delivery growth this year. But let's watch closely to see if there there's any policy shift and to see if there's any potential chance. Because the, currently, the stock price of Neo of Axpon of Liaodo is really in a low level, and there might be a chance if things have dramatic change in the following month. All right, that's all the news I want to share today about Neo and other EV makers in China. No matter good or bad, if you would like to keep updated with this kind of news and potential chances, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.